There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people. Ramsey, Darren Wall. To see if we could become something more. Wait, something is missing. I can't put my finger on it. Wait, 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 wait. That's much better. The mills in this neighborhood already weren't safe, but they're in trouble now. This is the Wheel of Mutt. An age old tradition many of you have seen many seasons of Wheel of Mutt. But I'm gonna walk you through the rules right now. Wheel of Mud is simple. I start with this all silver base lineup. I spin the Wheel of Mud twice to determine how I can upgrade my team. Then I go play a game. If I win that game, I lock in the players for our squad. And if I lose, those players I added get removed from the lineup. Now let me take you through some of the more nuanced rules and one of the most exciting parts of every starting Wheel of Mud season, our prestige players. Think of our prestige players as team captains. I get three of them at the start of each season. These players can never leave the lineup and I am always entitled to the best version possible. So with that being said, let me show you our very first Wheel of my prestige player. It's Justin Jefferson. Jay Jettas. Now Justin Jefferson was an amazing pick regardless. He has an 89 overall right now, which is the best wide receiver in the game. On top of that, I think he's going to have an incredible season. So I definitely anticipate him getting more and more cards as the season progresses. But worst case scenario, we've got a six foot one, insanely fast, incredible wide receiver to start our squad with. So that's our prestige player number one. And if you take a look at my offense, that's the only thing here, which means my other prestige players must be on defense. The first defense and prestige player I will show you is Micah. Parsons. This is the pre-order Micah Parsons. And in my opinion, he is the best user in the game. He's got great speed. He's got lurker built into the card. He's an absolute beast. And just like Justin Jefferson, I think Micah Parsons is poised to have an absolutely insane season. And that leaves me with my final prestige, a name that you should now be familiar with, Micah Hide 89 overall free safety. So two Micahs on defense. Now this was my unorthodox prestige. I really wanted to go with a Bills player. I was very high on the Bills. I think the Bills are going to the Super Bowl. So Micah Hyde is definitely down the line poised for a playoffs card without a doubt. Maybe a Super Bowl card. Regardless, Micah Hyde is the centerpiece on a potential Super Bowl defense. His current 89 is incredible. 88 speed, six feet tall. He doesn't hit like Ronnie Lott, but he covers real well too. And if you watch Wheel of Mutt last season, you'll know we're missing something. And that's the power up player. In Madden 23, they removed the power up system. Previously, I would start the team with a power up player, a 68 overall Dalvin Cook. And every touchdown that that Dalvin Cook scored, I would upgrade him one time. So after 10 touchdowns, you'd have a 95 overall Dalvin Cook. Well, we don't have that option anymore. So I've elected to do a different option. My power up player this year is Pat Fryermuth. As you can see, Pat Fryermuth is a 69 overall silver tight end, but he has two more versions in the game. He's got an 80 overall, but he's also got this 87 overall, which is an incredible card. Every time I score a touchdown with Pat Fryermuth, I can upgrade to the next best version of Pat Fryermuth. For now, that does seem a little bit easy, but as the season progresses, more players will get more cards and it'll get a little more difficult. In addition, the power up player makes a lot of sense because for the first time in forever, there has been a large change to the landscape of head to head. There are pros and cons to this, but seasons now, you need five wins to make it to the playoffs before you get three losses. There's only two games in the playoffs before the Super Bowl, and then it's the Super Bowl. So if I win five games, I'm basically put right into the divisional playoff game. So I'll play the divisional, the NFC Championship, and then the Super Bowl, which means a Wheel of Mutt season could be as short as eight games. And since some rules are getting shifted, I've got a rule of my own. In an unprecedented move, Papa Meeks will not be using a base silver quarterback. And my quarterback for this season of Wheel of Mutt is Zach 
Wilson. The den of cougars has been unleashed and the 77 overall MILF hunting maniac himself at 6 foot 271 speed, 79 throw power, 77 accuracy, and 99 MILF domination. Zach Wilson will be leading us to a Super Bowl. Hopefully you understand the rules by now. And if this is your first season watching, I promise you're gonna pick up quick. And that leaves us with our first order of business, the wheel spins. I've got two spins to add players to this squad and then hopefully hop into a game and win in order to keep them. The first game of every season is crucial and this team sucks. Let's just put it how it is. This is a 71 overall with no O-line, no D-line, no tight end, no halfback, hardly any wide receivers, a linebacker and a free safety and that is quite literally it. It's all up to the wheel to decide our fate. Let's have an amazing season, gentlemen. Our first ever wheel spin is 10 re-rolls. And I get to choose one. Okay. All right, so 10 re-rolls. So there's two options for me on these re-rolls. There's this, the 78 plus headliners player. And there's this, the 82 plus all Madden training pack. Now the all Madden guarantees an 82, which is nice, or you could get an 89. Now headliners does sound worse, but there are 86 overall headliners players. It's easier to pull an 86 headliners player than an 89 all Madden. That makes a lot of sense. So I'm gonna start here with the headliners players. All right, headliners pack. What do you got? Javante Williams. <laughs> This existed, bro. He's got bulldozer. He comes with bulldozer baked into the card. And freight train. What the fuck? He's a savage. You can add reach for it. Javante Williams, Justin Jefferson, Zach Wilson. We have to win this game. This is one of the best halfbacks in the game right now. Hey, we got nine more. That was literally the first one. So I'm assuming I'm gonna take Javante Williams, but I'm probably gonna go, you know what? The next nine, I'll do all Madden packs just in case I can pull an 89 overall. All right, pack one, Mike Allstott. Not what we're looking for. Well, pack one of all Madden. That was pack two. So this is pack three. We get an 89 in here. Holy shit. Although I'm not going to lie. There are certain positions where if I got an 89, I wouldn't even take it. Like if I got 89 Bruce Matthews, when I even take that, I feel like I'd still have to stick with Javante. Dude, it's kind of funny. I almost don't want an 89. It's going to make me sad. Pack seven. There is no different animation for the 89 overalls, by the way. So you won't know until it opens. And finally, pack number 10. Sam Mills. Amazing idea to start out with the headliners. All right, our first wheel spin blessed us with 86 overall Javante Williams. Our second wheel spin of the first episode will be a fantasy round jackpot, but only rounds one through four. So I'm not getting a defensive player. That's okay. You know what? Offense is going to have to absolutely carry us. First things first, we have to figure out what round this is going to apply to. This is a brand new wheel spin. None of you have ever seen this one. Alexa, pick a number one through four. Here's a number between one and four. It's one. <gasps> yes! I love you. You're so handsome. Alexa, shut up. Don't ever speak. Hmm. Nope. No, nope. know Alexa, you know the rules. Rules is a form of the word rule. Alexa. As a noun. Alexa, you do not speak before giving sloppy toppy. Do you understand? Hmm. I don't know that one. Now we're going to go run a fantasy football mock draft. I can take any player in Madden that gets taken in the first round of this fantasy draft. So as you can imagine, there's going to be a lot of studs. Let's see how it pans out in this mock draft. All right, I'll take the one slot. We're going to start the mock. I'm going to take Christian McCaffrey as my... Jonathan Taylor, Justin Jefferson, Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, Jamar Chase, Cooper Cup, Austin Eckler, Najee Harris, Devontae Adams. Okay, Christian McCaffrey, Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor is an amazing running back, but he's very similar to Javante Williams. So I'm not taking a halfback most likely. None of these halfbacks are good enough to where I could justify it. Devontae Adams could be an amazing pick. Cooper Cup or Jamar Chase. It's really between those three. And honestly, I would think about this. I would compare the wide receivers, but I already know who I want. How cool will it be to have Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson on the same team, bro? They can do gritty battles. If they both get a touchdown, I'll hit the gritty with both, and you guys can tell me which one was better. This is perfect. And the final thing that we have not covered is the challenge wheel. The challenge wheel is loaded with a ton of challenges that we must complete in the upcoming game. Completing the challenge gives us a choice. We can either open one pack with coins from the store, or we can salvage one player assuming we lost. So if I complete my challenge and lose the game, I could save either Javante Williams or Jamar Chase from being yeeted from our squad. But if I win, I'm just taking my pack. All right, I hope that makes sense. Here is our first ever challenge wheel. 
For Madden 23, this is it. Oh, we have never, ever gotten this one. This is brand new. 25 plus yards with five different players. Passing yards with the quarterback do not count. Javante Williams, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase could all have 25 yards rushing or receiving. I don't know who's going to get the rest of those now that I think about it, though. I guess Zach Wilson could rush for 25 and Pat Fryermuth could maybe get 25. We'll figure it out. As for abilities on this squad, I went recuperation, runoff elite, and deep out elite on Justin Jefferson. Javante Williams, Recuperation, reach for it, and bulldozer. Now, obviously, Zach Wilson cannot get a bill. On defense, we've got shutdown, lurker, recuperation, Micah Parsons. And our other Micah, Micah Hyde, has on the ball and recuperation with universal coverage. For a 73 overall Madden team, and we've got a dream of winning our Super Bowl in our first ever season of Madden 23 Wheel of Mud. Let's make that dream a reality, boys. Is that my team or what? What are we doing? What are we doing, EA? This game just came out. That's his squad. Can he pick it? Friar Steelers theme team already. A God squad is a lot better than a theme team right now. So I'm a little bit scared. Like that TJ Watt's gonna be sketch. And I bet you it's Najee Harris and Deontay Johnson are scary too. But I'll take this. No, 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 no. I gotta remember. Tired of suffering. Tired that is suffering. how you learn the hard way, ladies and gentlemen. Not only are kick returns very good, but my team is horrible. No way I can cover kick returns. I have to kick every single kick out of bounds. So we'll just start this game with a seven point fucking handicap. Sick. Any chance you want to press cover Jay Jettas? Keontae Ingram right there. Keontae Ingram. There's Justin Jefferson. Yes, sir. Whoa. Dude, are you shitting me? What the fuck was that, Justin? I'm looking for JJ Edda's in the out route now. Ooh, right over top of his user, Javante! Dude, what does this guy just let uh, the computer make every tackle? He has not switched on to make a tackle once. I'm scared of TJ Watt. I'm scared of TJ Watt. Holy shit, he came off so fast. It's weird. I clicked double team, and yet they just elected not to double team him. But luckily, Javante Williams out of the backfield is going to make an awesome play. Five or six, 43 yards. Uh, I don't think I can make that, but fire move! Get in the end zone! Oh, Friar Moose on the one! Ah, I want it so bad, dude. I can get that. Can I get that tutty with Friar Moose? Come on, baby. I'll take my sack, dude. I will take my sack. He was not open. I'm so glad I didn't throw it. Yeah, dude, if we can lock up Friar Moose's touchdown, I'd be so happy. I think Friar Moose gets open here. All right, let's be patient. thing either i did that manually oh my god zach wilson you dog bro that was an awesome drive for our challenge too i got yards with jefferson zach wilson rushing keontae ingram and pat fryer move oh let's see if he abandons the run early only way i'm gonna beat this guy is with a if he throws a really stupid pass and i can lurk it right here right here right here right here right here <gasps> Pick six. 14 to seven. Massive play. His first pass. Micah's got his X Factor lit up. This could be a run, though. Yup. Oh, no. Play action. Get there. Get there. Get there. Oh, I could have had that, but I got spooked. I feel like he audible to inside zone. No. Oh! What a work. Oh, my God. He's going to do it again. Wait a second. No, he's not. Pat Fryer move touchdown. Dude, he jumps so high. I'm telling you, he's the best user in the game with Lurker. Let's go. We're doing it right here, boys. Great double. Keep going. Keep going. I'm throwing it to him. Fuck it. Oh, greedy. I got greedy. I could have had a touchdown. I don't have anything now. Let's see if he runs it. Oh. Oh, I was coming in so hot. Oh, okay. Nice play. Micah, hi. He just picked up his own fumble, rocked the shit out of it. Oh my god, are you really just gonna keep doing this? I guess I don't see why not if it's working. See if he goes again. Okay. Wait for one more Micah Hyde hit. Oh, I thought he'd cough that up. I really don't want to adjust to it. If he wants a field goal here, that's fine. If not, he's gonna get hit so hard that he fumbles. Play action. Mmm. <laughs> Nice touchdown. Nice plays all around. Now I'm just so mad at myself for not taking my Micah touchdown, but it's okay. I'm still going to clutch this up. All right, Jefferson corner route. Now that's something I can get behind. Eee! 
Nine seconds. My kicker sucks. So I'm gonna need some serious yards here if I wanna pull this off. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I think we made a good prestige. No way! No way! Yes! I don't think I was coming out on top that game. Yo, I would have picked up a field goal there, then fall at half. Oh my god. He got agged and he got so pissed that he quit. Oh my god, one win of five. What a start. So, no fire move touchdown. Challenge wheel not complete, but we do get to spin the rage quit wheel. All right, the rage quit wheel is spinning. Nobody to thank except for Justin Jefferson. What a snag. Let's see what we got right here. Looks like it's a jackpot of some sort. I can't see that one. Ooh, 86 jackpot. There's only one better jackpot on the rage quit wheel, and that's 87. So we will absolutely take that. Wide receivers were totally fine. In fact, offense, I feel like we should leave offense as is. Offensive line would be great. But right now, I'm more worried about the defense. I think Tyson Anderson is a big problem right now, and all of the corners. I'm going to replace Tyson Anderson. I would like a 86 overall strong safety. Looks like Amani Hooker is probably my only option. 84 speed, 5 foot 11. Ah, there's Kyle Hamilton as well. 6'4", 217. Holy shit. He's crazy expensive, but it's an 86 overall jackpot. I can take anybody I want who's an 86 overall. I'm taking Kyle Hamilton. All right, massive rage quit wheel pickup right there to get Kyle Hamilton locked into this squad. All right, boys, we're off to an amazing start. We are 1-0 and oh in Wheel of Mutt. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching as always. Let's have an amazing season. Peace.